Today we're going to talk about Tempe Rail, iconic rail in the northeast suburbs of Melbourne. Super long, super mellow, get on's not too high. It's like, this is insane. To be there when you at the sort of like the start of a street sort of era for, for Melbourne. It's not really a go there and fuck around rail, like it's like you're there for a reason. We found this rail in probably 2003, maybe 2002. So it's been around forever. Ever since then, it, the, the tricks on it have just progressed and progressed. We stumbled across this rail, Cooper, myself, and my brother Leon. Um, we found it and it was really just a real smooth, long, just perfect rail. But the problem was it was just an absolute beast of a rail and we had big aspirations and people dared to do it, but no one really had the balls to. And so we were making videos and always in the street scene um, from a progression point of view, there was one standout and his name was Michael Bose. Um, absolute badass on trails, on street, skate park. Um, and he really was with the first out of our crew um, to start doing rails and to be doing two peg rails especially. I remember it was one Friday night after school. Um, Michael was 17, thereabouts. Um, we went there, Stuart, Dolly, myself and Michael. Um, and yeah, it took him about three shots and yeah, he just basically nailed the whole thing. No helmet, pair of shorts on a, I think at the time, an S&M dirt bike. To be there when you, you at the sort of like the start of a street sort of era for, for Melbourne, um, that sort of camaraderie of guys pushing each other saying, yeah, do it, have a crack, have a crack. Um, it was, yeah, it was wonderful A to be there, but also B to be able to film it and to have the videos like in my shed and to be able to show, you know, my mates and, and sort of my family as well. Shout out to Michael, who's no longer with us. He passed away a few years ago, but you're always in our hearts, man. So yeah, first one to do it, man. And uh, yeah, much respect, BHP. Tempe Rail's always been one of those iconic Melbourne rail spots to me. Uh, it's super forgiving. The stairs are like nice and long. So you, when you bail, you lower chance of rolling your ankle. Uh, there's grass on the left-hand side. So if you go over, you should be all right. Super long, super mellow. Get on's not too high. The rail size itself is like pretty good. It's just, yeah, it kind of has everything going for it. So it's just one of those ones that there's always, everyone's got a trick in mind for it. And if you can pull it off, it's always good. The only bad thing about Tempe rail spots, probably the, so the edging at the bottom for the, the playground. Uh, if you kind of come off a bit late on the left-hand side, you don't have time to hop. You're just gonna front end hit that and go straight over the bars. And I've done that before. Shame I never could ride the right hand side. I don't think it was ever rideable in the time I was riding. I got lucky enough to get a few tricks on the left hand side and probably the best rail, in my opinion, in Melbourne. It's like, it's hard to, to really put it in perspective unless you've like, even just pegs it. Like, you go there and you roll up on it and it's so, it is really low, like, but it kind of makes it seem a lot more chill than it is. But you get like a bike length or two down and like, and then it's just, just go like any wax on it and like and you're fucked and when i first saw it, i was like this is insane it looked perfect it looked mellow it was huge you could get a dope angle from the bottom it just seemed like almost the best rail in oz at the time and once we pulled up i was pumped because it was like almost better in real life and uh once we started riding it it was a little bit more difficult because the at the top of the rail it kind of has a flat bit and then it goes down. So you kind of have to gap to the, to the down bit. And I was always, I don't know, didn't, didn't mind doing ice grinds and stuff. So I always felt pretty confident doing them. And uh, yeah, I guess we, I just, just went for it. Like it was just an, another rail, I guess. And you know, you're pretty safe on one side. So if you, if you fall to the left, it was always pretty grassy and the stairs were always quite decent too. So if you, you had to put it down or whatever, you were always kind of a little bit safe, but just one of the ones that we we're into and I stuck it and uh, you know, it, the result was pretty fucking happy with, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, we rode it. I did an ice the first time without knowing Manol did that back in the day. It's not gonna happen, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, once we saw JK clips, I was super inspired to hit it. He was like kind of the person that opened up kind of crazier grinds on that, on that rail. It'd have to be Jack off the top of my head. I haven't seen heaps, but it'd have to be Jack's wheels. That was like insane. Um, Sean's hardway is like pretty, 
pretty crazy too, considering how fast that rail is. Um, but probably, yeah, probably Jack with the wheels. That's messed up. It's sick though. And the feeble was probably just like the best idea because you could just sit on it and it was a bit more chill. Yeah, we just went there and I just feeble, easy one aided it. And um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nah, nah, it, it took a while. It took a while because like, like I was saying, the, the, the wooden, with the wooden little slats on the bottom was like an issue for the 180. And like, if you're coming off dead straight, you're gonna land on that wooden plan planter. It's like, it's, you're, you're not going perfectly straight to the, the pavement. So yeah, it's an interesting spot. Definitely get worked on it. I've been there probably like, I think three times, like tried the crooks once, ate it, hit my head a little bit, which was sick. Went back once, once more for that and got it for, for the vid. But it's legit, like, it's not really a go there and fuck around rail, like it's, like you're there for a reason. Thank you.